Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So I came across this interesting card, and I just had to talk about it, because, you know, pendulums, they're starting to become a thing. So this card is called Pendulum Penalty. It is a counter trap card, so that's spell speed 3, nice and powerful. Uh, pretty much, it is a solemn judgment card against pendulums. Solemn warning. Judgment. Warning. Warning, yeah. So pretty much, you know, how we use Solemn Warning against Pendulums, same thing, you know. So let me go ahead and uh, go over this card. So when a monster, monsters, parentheses, would be stretched, would be Pendulum Summoned, all right. Or when a monster's Pendulum Effect is activated, you can pay half your life points, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So pretty much this card just says, fuck you, to Pendulums. Now, of course... Uh, you know, Pendulums haven't been doing much lately, unless, of course, you're counting, of course, Kleeput, because that deck is, uh, that's the Pendulum. That's literally the, the potion shot of the Pendulums right now. There ain't anything else that's really doing much with Pendulums, uh, you know, competitively or even remotely on the scale of Kleeput, or Kleeput, or whatever you want to call it. So, the existence of this card, you know, definitely hinder that deck and make things a lot more interesting in the game, a lot more interesting. So, of course... Uh, you know, when your opponent would pendulum summon the monsters, uh, they wouldn't, it wouldn't be, uh, you know, summoned properly because you negate the summon. So, pretty much when they go pendulum summon and they pendulum summon a whole bunch of monsters, you just go activate this, pay half your life points, those monsters would go to the graveyard. You know, it's just like with Solemn Warning. And you hit all of them. You hit all of them. So, there's actually a ruling here in the TCG that's different from the OCG is that you can actually play back Blackhorn when your opponent would, uh, you know, pendulum summon. And you can't do that in OCG. But the thing is, you only hit one of the, mo the multiple Pendulum Summon monsters. So it said that Pendulum Summon three monsters, you only hit one with Blackhorn. But you can still activate it, unlike in OCG, where you wouldn't even be able to play the card at all. This card is just like Solemn Warning in that sense, where you, you would hit all the monsters. All the monsters were summoned, you stopped the summon, they would all go to the graveyard. Not even back to the extra deck, to the graveyard, uh, which definitely would uh, hurt. And, uh, you know, when a Pendulum Monster would even activate their effect. So, you know, even if your opponent would, you know, try to... Play Scout and, you know, activate Scout and pay their 800. You can just be like, alright, nope, negate, and go away, you know. <laughs> so, you know, that also would be a thing, too. You know, uh, I doubt that, you know, they would ever make a card like this, especially this early. You know, this is really early for Pendulums to be, you know, hurt like this and addressed like this. Because this is pretty much just straight up, just fuck Pendulums, you know, and, uh, you know. It would definitely hurt them if they did that. Now, of course, uh, you know, if this card really existed, how would, you know, it phase the meta? Uh, of course, you know, we're in a very heavy MST, triple MST format. So, you know, that's still a thing. But the thing that may affect uh, how well this card would be if it really existed is the fact that of uh, 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 that Kleeplet and Kleeplet players actually play Nightbeam. And uh, Nightbeam is actually a thing that you can go ahead and get this card with. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure how many Nightbeams they main deck or how relevant it is, but, you know, the relevance of it would only increase with the existence of this card, you know. Go ahead and just Nightbeam this card and then make sure that your plays are fine because, you know, if you, it, you know, your opponent may be playing half their life points, but, you know, depending on how many monsters you pendulum summon and, you know, them not going back to the extra deck and you not continuously floating and you nagging that hard, uh, it might be over just simply just off fact off of that, you know, you know. For example, you know, you play a pendulum scale, you play the other one, you know, so you would have, you know, four cards off in hand, because I'm, I'm, alright, you're going second, you're going second, your opponent sets this card, right? You put one zone, you put the other zone, you, and, uh, you know, you got four cards, you, four clean put, you pendulum summon all four of them. Uh, pendulum penalty, you just literally just lost all four of the monsters, they're going to a graveyard, you're not getting them back, you know, you know. You're not getting them back through, you know, Pendulum Summon to the next turn. I guess you can get them back with, a, uh, was a climate change. But, you know, you're, you're pretty much not getting that shit back. And, you know, that might definitely... Or do you... Or it's climate change from the extra deck. I can't remember. I might be getting climate change mixed up with Pot of Wealth. Either or. Uh, the point is you're not getting them back through Pendulum Summoning. So, you know, you neg yourself pretty hard for your opponent only paying, you know... 4,000 life points, and sometimes it may not even be 4,000 life points, it says pay half your life points, and we already know how that is with paying half your life points, you can always pay half your life points, almost, so, you know, just like the same, one of the same reasons why Solemn Judgment is banned, uh, you know, simply just being able to just go like, alright, go ahead and just 
<laughs> yeah, half my life points, you know. Um, if this card existed, it would probably definitely be a side. Uh, there's no point in main decking this card with, uh, you know, the diverse kind of meta. I mean, there's still the top decks, but it's kind of diverse. Last thing you want to do is main deck this and then go against, you know, like, Shadals or Burning Abyss. So, but you could definitely side this, you know. You know, just like, you know, some people side in Twisters. You know, you could just simply side in this against uh, Klee's. But, uh, you know, Cleese, they've definitely tried combating. You know, there's already triple MST. They play Night Beam. Maybe they throw in a little bit of wire tap just because you go, all right, uh, you know, I Pendulum Summon. You go Pendulum Penalty, and I go wire tap. You pay half your life points for nothing, you know. And then you pay that half your life points for nothing and not being able to stop my Pendulum Summon uh, may be the difference between, you know, me ending this game. Because you literally, you know, let's say it's early game, and, I, you know, I have, you know, a couple monsters to Pendulum Summon, you know. I Pendulum Summon, you activate Pendulum Penalty, you're at 8,000, you cut yourself to 4,000, and I go Wiretap, put that back, attack, 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 you know? So, yeah, depending on what the situation in the duel is, uh, you know, this card is kind of risky, but uh, it's also pretty beneficial as well. So, uh, yeah, this card, if it, if I feel like it's a little bit too dirty for Pendulums, a little bit too early, you know? Maybe we might be able to see a card similar to this, uh, maybe at the end of Pendulums, when Konami's kind of like, all right, we're done with Pendulums, so here's the kind of counter to Pendulums. Now, like, oh, we would have loved this, you know, back when Klee puts were in the shit, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, so go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Pendulum Penalty in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. All right, guys, thanks for watching.